Hello again. Welcome back, everybody, to to our channel. Um, we're here again with another bird video for you. This time we're working on a blue goose in flying position. But before everything else, I'll, I need to tell you that this is still one of my older videos that was uh, basically hiding in my uh, computer, and uh, I, I I thought I'd better just put it together because I'm sure there's still some tips and. Uh, tricks in here that might come in handy and useful for some of you guys okay so I'm not gonna be talking too much over this video because it doesn't have any uh, new tips that you haven't seen before except the area that I'm attaching the skull to the neck this is a little bit different than um, the way you've seen me doing in other bird mounts but anyway let's get going with the whole project it's going to be on two different videos part one and part two so I don't eliminate a lot of uh, screens in here so you can see the most of the video uh, as you can see I'm starting with carving out the foam neck and I'll let you watch the video and I will chime in wherever I think it's necessary enjoy you know the, the neck that we've carved for this uh, for this goose is uh, much thicker on one end than the other end so if you've noticed we usually like to push the whole neck through the mouth or head opening but it doesn't happen on this bird so we have to do a little bit different way so we have to insert it from the inside of the skin not the uh, basically head opening and then uh, attach it to the skull so this is the different way just just another way there's so many different ways you can attach the skull to the neck so what I'm doing here I'm making a big gap uh, underneath the skull and just leaving it open like that uh, like basically it's just the gap is slightly bigger than the thickness of my wire but I make sure that there is enough room in there and uh, I will glue the skull or the casted head to my neck wire and you will see how I'm going to do that. So I push the end of the wire out of the neck in the front uh, top of neck sorry I went out of the frame. I need a camera man I know so anyway uh, the wire has been looped and um, make sure that it fits into the gap that we cut out from underneath the skull you can see that I looped up the wire where it's sticking out of the neck now I'm making sure that the gap that I created in the casted head it's going to fit that loop wire There you go. That's how I 
I'm going to attach this one. So with a little bit of a surround wrap around the neck, we'll make it slippery so it goes through the neck skin easily. And we'll push it out of the head opening from the other end. Now, you have the loop wire sticking out of the neck and then it's ready to glue. But before that, we're going to work on the eyes of the goose. So there's a couple of measurements that you need to have is the length of the eyes from either the front or the back to the tip of the beak and also the width of the eyes so how much they're sticking outside of the head so I had those measurements so I could easily um, push and adjust the eye settings to the proper exact measurement and of course your your head is basically your casted head has been purchased uh, to the same size of the um, of the goose there's a little bit of a play you can buy slightly bigger or slightly smaller but not a lot there there's usually three sizes of um, goose head that you can purchase it's either um, small medium or large and pretty well all geese will fall into those three sizes anyway usually either you you hit it perfectly right on the spot or you have to deal with a little bit of a smaller or a slightly bigger head that will be totally fine unless you make your own heads like what I do with majority of my birds and then uh, then you're, you're there you're 100% you're fitting okay so I fill up that gap with, with hot glue and then simply push that loop of wire into the hot glue and let it set. And of course again because of each skull that we purchase has a different anatomy we have to uh, uh, work with a little bit of clay around the attachment to make it smooth and uh, basically steady transition. So we're going to pull the skin over the skull and start gluing the skin around the beak. So I'm going to speed up the video here because most of you know how to do it. And there is not much uh, to explain. So I'll let you watch it. Oh, one more time. Um, because some of you are still uh, wondering that what kind of glue I'm using. I'm using Gorilla Crazy Glue or Instant Glue or Super Glue. Um, and I squeeze a little bit out of the tube on a little piece of glass or a little plastic jar and I take my needle and apply it with the needle tip from the jar to the area that I need to, to basically use. So these cotton balls were pushed inside the wing pockets to just get the excess moisture from the wings. We just pull out the cottons and then inside our wing are quite dry and nice. Not, not dry but they don't have a lot of moisture in there. So the wing wires are going through the ulna.
one thing I need to mention to you guys here that um, selection of our music for these videos are extremely difficult so I'm sorry if some of the musics that you see in the background are not very attractive because uh, it, it is a big 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 uh, deal here and it's very challenging to find a good music uh, I have a very huge respect for uh, great artists that they make good music out there right now because uh, there is a reason there is copyright issues all the time because all the music that you like to hear they're all copyrighted and it's not easy to use and YouTube is quite strict about it so there's some free music that I I have to find uh, because if you if you want to use copyrighted music it gets very complicated and basically I'm not into music industry either so I'm trying to just have some sort of a background music to uh, to make the videos not too dry so anyway I'm sorry if some of the musics are not that great but we can't really get much better than this when it's free Okay, now it's time to install the body so we push all the wires exactly where they're supposed to go in and this is going to be a wall hanging flying goose so the wire is supposed to stick out the the supporting wire is supposed to be from behind the goose so the breast side will be the show side so now you will see how I attach that wire before I close up the bird and by the way guys this video is coming to an end I will uh, I will be on it to create the second part of this video and then we'll see you either tomorrow or the day after thank you very much for watching and please subscribe support the channel so we can create more videos for you guys